Hold on till I... I know a shortcut! I sure hope Ranger King got our message! Speak of the Tasmanian devil! I thought you said this was a shortcut! It is! Whoa! Time, mate. You took your time. The little country town of Currawong is under attack. What knuck would want to do this? The local security is in the thick of it. One of their mates is holed up at the old barracks. Oh, this is a shocker out there. Frills have breached the Northern River. Sly, Shazza, I'm gonna need your help. You can count on us. If we follow this road, it'll take us up to the old barracks. Okay, let's go. Hi, mate. What are you doing? It's bedlam out there. Moving time. to the old barracks now. Get to the other side of the bridge. See that battle bunyip? Maybe you can use it to clear the debris block in the path.
about me. <coughs> There's a battle mortar in the old barracks. It's the only thing that can defend the ground truth from those demon fluffies. I'm there. <coughs> you little beauty! those demon fluffies, possum. Hang on, what's that? Shivers! Fluffy! That gate leads to the old jail. Where Boss Cass has been held prisoner. It's been a diversion for a jailbreak. Not if I can help it. I'll take care of it, Shaz. Well, 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 the little army of that has come out to play. I know what you're up to and you're not going to get away with it. Whatever.
Still here, rat boy? I'm not gonna let you broadcast for a... Oh, yeah? You and Boo's army. I don't need an army. <laughs> I think you're going to now. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, mate. I thought I was a goner. At last, I'm free! Not if I can help it. As usual, Ty, your pathetic friends have gotten in your way. Toodles, Ty. So long, loser. Cass got away. You did the best you could, Possum. Yeah, mate. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead meat. I could have done better. Next time, I'll be ready. And it is with great pride that I cut this ribbon and officially declare open Baramaji Bush Rescue. It's a state-of-the-art facility with an observation tower, research lab, airstrip, and advanced headquarters. That's you, Possum! Get on, ya, mate. Dennis, you won't regret this. With Bush Rescue, we're ready to take on Boss Kess the next time he strikes. Well, it's not going to be that easy, I'm afraid. Why not? I've just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have diplomatic immunity. You mean it's an immunity community? That stinker! Diplomatic what? As the newly elected president of Cassopolis, Boss Cass and his diplomats are above the law as long as they're here on official Cassopolis business. They can double park, open other people's mail, and leave the milk out. And Sergeant Bluey can't touch him. Which is why it's important for us to find out what his plans are and catch him in the act. <sighs> well, there's no time to stand around gas bagging. We've got work to do. The local council has been complaining about crocodiles in the sewers, mate. Go see Ranger Ken to sort it out. There are literally billions and billions of things that haven't been invented yet.
Hello. Crikey! You're a frill lizard. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough. My name's Sneath, and me mate over there is Keith. G'day. I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Uh, righto. I also take care of the bush rescue training program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. Righto, mate. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the right analog stick. Just push it left or right to spin the camera around. And you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the directional buttons. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? You can change this through the options menu. They got that feature in already? I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. If you haven't worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of yours to jump. It's easy, really. Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess the Jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Before you had your ranks, mate, you had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep. And in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey, the snub-nosed shark from Strathpine. Here's how you can use them to bite things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it, we've got some crates right here. Why don't you have a go at biting them? Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Bruna. Righto. The beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Do you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? That's right. You can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. All you have to do is press the jump button. And when you're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the Gliding Goose from Glen Iris. Well, looky here. Some water. Just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Steady on there, mate. Anyway, it's time. We'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. You can swim all right, mate. Time to learn how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the Diving Duck from Darwin. There are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines, or even a ladder. 
Like this one here. Anyways, just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Marichidor. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a rings eye view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Careful, mate. There's a big drop just ahead. You know how we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, you can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you're running. Have a go on this fella here. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? Well done, mate. You've learnt just about every bush rescue trick in the book. I've got an interesting job for you, mate. Julius needs you at the Gunner Gunner training grounds to test his latest invention. 